Phantom here. I'm going to show you how to implement the skin Titanfall 2 using the hex method. Now, three things you're going to need a hex editor, in our case, that's HXD, but you may use any other you find better or more useful. Skins itself, that you may download, and a special list that's available on GitHub. Everything's gonna be linked down in the description, so you might as well get it from there. So to get started, I want you to open up the HXD and first thing, open a file, not the skin yet, go to your Titanfall destination directory and go to R2 Packs Win64. In this folder you want to find a PC underscore stream dot star pack without the number, just the full file. Open it and it might not look very friendly at first. Uh, that's that's the hexadecimal. It's not friendly. But never mind it. Now what you want to do is to open the skin files in the same way you did. In my case they are on the desktop and the skin pack and we are going to implement a black eyes Spitfire skin. Now that's what you're going to see when you download the file. And the, I believe the upper one is the file, yes. <coughs> These are the files and here you can see there are files in two resolutions. You want to input both, I mean to install both to make the skin work correctly. But first we are going to install a single one, a smaller one, and then we are going to install the bigger one. Now you want to select all the files, so just control click it and open them. You see they are added at the top and we are going to go from left to right. To have some sort of order. This might not might not look very friendly again, but that's where the list comes in handy. So what I like to do is to put the editor on the left and open the list in the other window. Now I do it because I have a single monitor, but if you have two monitors then you're pretty much set because you have the list on one and content on the other. So here you can see there are offsets for the particular weapons of the game. We want to find, so it's Ctrl F to bring up a search. Here we are going to look for Spitfire, because that's the skin we're going to be installing. So Spitfire. And what does it find? It finds a lot of Spitfire. In our case, you can be interested in the ones near the bottom, yeah, there we go. The Spitfire underscore LMG, so we might as well add that. So, the search results are more precise. <clears throat> right, and the first thing you see is the ambient occlusion. In our case, that's the line with the AO here at the end. It stands for ambient occlusion. We are installing the lower resolution of the image. At least I think so. Yeah, make sure to yeah the lower one. Make sure to remember that. So here it is our resolution, 1024, and the offset at which this resolution starts. So that's important: the address, the resolution, and the length. So this one lasts for 80,000 units. So head back to the PC star pack. Hit Control E to bring up the select block. And here you want to start with your copied address value, so that's 2544C1, 2543C1, and the length of 80,000. Select it, and it's selected. Now head back to the ambient occlusion. It's a DSS file, I mean the DDS file. It has a header that is basically what the file is, and we don't want it. So we just want to start selection here at the offset of 80. Hit Ctrl E once again to bring up the select block. Remember to start the offset at 80 and again the length of 80,000. Okay, hit Ctrl C to copy it and paste it with Ctrl V into the star pack. It's going to turn red and if you mess something up with the length, it's going to notify you that you're changing the size of the file. If, you, if it happens, that means you goofed something, so you need to cancel and try it again. But 
it didn't warn us this time so we might as well close the ambient occlusion because we have it implemented now and now it, the, it's the base color file so scroll up it's usually the first one yeah the col color lower resolution 2533 f1 copy the address this one's 80,000 as well so go back to steam pack open the select block paste your new value 2533 f1 and at the length of 80,000 select it go to the base color skip the header and select it from 80 at the length of 80,000 hit ok copy the selected part and paste it here turns red because it's new it's not no warnings so it's good let me close the base color as well metallic you may notice that there's no metallic here and that's because it falls under the gloss category so it's going to go under the GLS glossiness that's our resolution our address and again 18,000 go to the start back select it paste your new value 25 3BE1 25 3BE1 checks out length of 80 thousand okay select it back to metallic Skip the header, Ctrl E to select, start at 80, length of 80,000. Okay, copy it, paste it. You're done with the glossiness. It's a normal map now, and here you need to pay attention. That's the NML or resolution, the address. Copy it, and here you'll notice that the normal map is slightly bigger at 100,000 units. So, you see the address here, head back to Steam Pack, Ctrl E, start black, select block offset, start with your value 2536C1, 2536C1, checks out, and this one lasts for 100,000 units. Here we go, do the same here, start at 80 to skip the header, and length of a hundred thousand units okay copy it paste it you're good with the normal map do the last thing with the specular add the spc over here go to our resolution copy your address so i'm about to copy it full you may skip the zeros at the front but not zeros at the back and this one's again eighty thousand units so go back to steam pack open it paste your new value 25 3e81 25 3e81 checks out a length of 80 thousand units all right do the same here skip the header go to file start at the 80 and length of 80 thousand units okay same copy it paste it you're good to go now what we've done is the lower resolution of the file and now you have to do the same for the higher resolution to get the best effect it will work with a single resolution but it will just not look as good or the scan will be cut in half so now we want to open it up again and this time we go to files and to high resolution ones again copy click select them and the process is very much the same except you pick the higher resolution address and size I'm just gonna speed up this section so you may watch but it won't take up your time
and yeah we are done with both resolutions and you may now save the file so control s the program is going to create a backup this file is quite big that's 10 gigabytes so that's why sharing it it's quite troublesome and that's probably why you're going to have to mod it yourself to get the skins but it's worth it we're going to see it it's going to take a while to create a backup and write the file so I'm going to meet you once it's done writing. Yeah. File's now written and you're good to go. You may close your programs and the list. And the skin is now in game. So let's go and see it. <laughs> 